Hi guys, so today we're going to look at uh, the Respondus Lockdown Browser and how to use it in order to uh, complete a quiz. Essentially what happens is a lot of students are downloading the Lockdown Browser application but they're not either not installing it or once they have it installed they have the idea that it's something like a, a add-in for Chrome or a, or a uh, application within Chrome where in fact it's its own browser. It's a browser like Chrome or Edge or any other browser. You have to open it up and then go into Canvas through Lockdown Browser and not uh, through Chrome. So you have to shut Chrome completely down. So hopefully today uh, this will give you a better idea of how to use Lockdown Browser. Before we start, uh, one tiny caveat, please forgive the the quality of some of the video footage. Um, Lockdown Browser, once you install it, it requires that you uh, shut down any kind of screen capture uh, applications or anything like that. And so what happens is, uh, once we do that, then I have to uh, switch over to my phone. And so I'm having to do part of this video footage with my phone. And so uh, some of the footage is a little bit primitive uh, because it is hand captured with the phone rather than uh, actually captured with a screen capture device. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are. And we're looking at a quiz that is set up to be used with Lockdown Browser. Usually what you'll see is the instructions or the title of the quiz will say, uh, name of the quiz requires Respondus Lockdown Browser. And then it will give you uh, information like this. What's more important is that there is no, uh, as you can see down here, there is no button that will allow you to take this quiz. Uh, basically, you'll have instructions, you'll have a Lockdown Browser requirement link, and this link takes you to uh, what's required in order to run Lockdown Browser and also uh, kind of a, a general idea of how to install it. And then download instructions. These are the instructions that we're going to follow in order to complete this quiz with Lockdown Browser. So the first thing you're going to want to do once you've navigated the quiz, now this is while you're still in Chrome. You're going to take the quiz. We're going to go ahead and click on the link for download and install. When we do, we're going to go to this page. Uh, this page is now on the Respondus server. If you look up here, uh, this video kind of gives you an overview of what it's for. The version, very important that you have the, the most recent version. So uh, if you need Mac and it doesn't already choose to send you to a Mac download page, then you'll need to click on this link and it will take you to a Mac download. And then finally, the, the download link, very, very important. This is probably the most important thing on this page. Make sure here where it says download Lockdown Browser 4, it has to say Grayson College. It can't say NCTC, it can't say University of North Texas, it can't say anything else but Grayson College. Lockdown Browser application is geared specifically to uh, the college that it's being used at. So make sure that your link says Grayson College. If not, you need to go back and talk to your instructor. Uh, but if this says Grayson College, then you're going to want to click the download button. And when you do that, it's going to uh, put up here, uh, you'll notice the, the little arrow that appears. This is basically where the file has been downloaded to. It's been downloaded to your uh, downloads folder in Windows Explorer. Uh, if you'll click on the show in folder, then what you'll see is Windows Explorer will open up and you'll see this lockdown browser uh, executable. And this is what we're going to actually install. Now, here's the thing. You are done with Chrome at this point. You can shut Chrome down completely. You can stop. You can close out. You're no longer in Canvas. You're no longer in Chrome. Shut it down completely. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install the Lockdown Browser application. So we're going to double click. And momentarily, it should start installing uh, lockdown browser. Okay, and when it does, it'll ask you what language. You choose English. It will start the install process and it will start copying files. 
and then it's going to ask you are you sure you want to continue do you agree with the license yes and then click next and it's going to start copying in the files at this point you're just going to click yes next or continue until it is complete it is probably at some point going to tell you uh, you have to uh, uninstall or you have to disable any uh, screen sharing or uh, recording applications which it's going to tell me that here shortly because I'm running OBS to capture screens. Alright and it says I'm done so I can go ahead and click on finish. So now that it's installed you'll notice that I have this icon Lockdown Browser. This is the application that you're going to want to open up in order to continue with the quiz that you're going to take. You're not going to go back into Chrome. This is the important thing to remember here. You're not going back into Chrome. You're going to uh, open up this particular application. And when you do, it will open up a browser that takes you to your My Viking portal and you'll be asked to log in. So let's go ahead and uh, do that really quickly here. Okay, so here we are in Lockdown Browser. You'll notice from all ago, this is the link that we would go to to look at the instruction video. And this is the link to the download page. Uh, once it's installed, we've started Lockdown Browser, we logged into Canvas, and we've navigated to the exam. This is the exam that we're going to be working on. It's the Lockdown Browser example exam. You'll notice it says requires respond as Lockdown Browser. Most Lockdown Browser quizzes will say that. Once we are comfortable with having read the instructions, then down here at the bottom, it will say, take the quiz. This is the difference between Chrome and Lockdown Browser, is in Lockdown Browser, you actually get a button that says take the quiz. So we're going to click that button, and it should take us to the actual quiz. Here is the quiz. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take it. It's which of the following is a color, red, bicycle, pizza, or people. I'm going to say red. I'm going to click on submit, just like you would in any other Canvas quiz. You click on submit. Okay, the quiz is submitted. It's done. Uh, if your instructor has it set up that way, then you will see the results of your quiz. But regardless, the quiz is done. Now, at this point, it'll say uh, up here, it'll give you submission details. It may or may not say take the quiz again and keep the high score. It just depends on how your instructor has it set up. What matters is you have taken the quiz. Now, here is the important part. At this point, we're going to close Lockdown Browser. You are done with Lockdown Browser completely. You can't do any work in here. I know you have all these menus over here. It looks just like Canvas. You can't do any work in here because it won't let you. So you need to come over here. You need to close out of Lockdown Browser. You sure you want to exit? Tell it yes. And at this point, we're going to open Chrome back up. We're going to go back to work inside of Chrome just like, uh, just like we were a while ago. The only difference is we've taken our quiz. This is the important thing to remember, is that lot. Okay, so that is essentially how to use uh, Lockdown Browser. Remember the important key points. Number one, you can't do uh, quizzes from Lockdown Browser in Chrome. You have to get completely out of Canvas. You have to close down the Chrome browser completely. Once you've done that, then you can open the Lockdown Browser application log in to my viking through that and complete the quiz once you've completed the quiz then get out of lockdown browser go back into chrome and you can continue on this work just remember that lockdown browser is a completely separate application and uh, it is not something that you can do any work in other than taking quizzes so if you have any questions uh, i can be reached yr at grayson.edu or you can uh, come by the office. I'm located in the uh, CIS building, the Center for Interdisciplinary Studies. I'm in the, uh, in the uh, professor's office suite, and uh, the office is open eight to five, Monday through Friday. If you have any questions, uh, if something's not working for you, come by the office and let me know, and I will do anything that I can to help. In the meantime, have a good day, and I'll see you around campus.